Hi everybody, this is Robert Beatty, the author of the Serafina series and the Willa series. And I'm here with you today to answer some reader questions. So these questions originally came from Ukraine and we thought they were such good questions, we thought we'd share them with everybody. Also, I have with me today two of my three daughters. This is Genevieve and Elizabeth and then uh, Camille is not here with us today. And then behind the camera is my lovely wife, Jennifer. So this is a family affair, as is the writing of the Serafina series and the Willis series. So let's start with the questions. So Genevieve's gonna do the first one. What have you been doing during 2020 and the first part of 2021? Are you still writing books? I am writing books. So I, during the year of 2020, was working very hard on a book called Willa of Dark Hollow. It's the second book in the Willa series. Do you like communicating with your fans, taking part in autograph sessions, or are you more of an introvert? I am an introvert, definitely, but I love talking to my fans. I love doing book signings. We get uh, lots of readers coming in, and I just definitely love talking to my fans and all the readers of the two series. Hi, from Ukraine. Serafina is my favorite series of all time. I like the main character very much, her language and her thoughts. I was surprised when I learned that the author is a man and not a woman. Was it difficult to write a series of books with a girl as the main character? I actually did not find it difficult. Uh, one of the reasons was I had my built-in consultants, so I had Genevieve and Elizabeth, Camille and my wife Jennifer, and they uh, are active readers and editors of my stories, and so they made sure that uh, everything that Serafina and Willa do makes sense uh, from a little girl's point of view, and they help me with the dialogue and the thoughts and the point of view. So I get a lot of help. Do you already know how many parts there will be in Serafina series? Or do the new ideas come to your mind while you write? Well, from the very beginning, I knew that Serafina, that Serafina and the Black Cloak would have a second and a third book. I had those planned out. The entire series has four books. That's the books that I've written so far. I don't have immediate plans scheduled to write another Serafina book, but lots of people are asking for a fifth book, so it's a possibility. But right now I'm working on a whole new series. So we have Serafina and then Willa, and I'm working on a new series at this time, starting in 2021. Okay. Do you write at home or do you have a special office for that? I do write at home and I do have an office. This is my office that we're in right now. Uh, this is my computer behind me. This is where it all takes place. Are you going to come to me? Is that the same thing? Go ahead. It's okay. all right. Are you going to continue the Serafina or Willa series, or do you plan to write another series? Okay, yep. Yeah. So we did touch on that. That's all right. But yeah, so Serafina series is four books. The Willa series is two books. And that's it for those, I think. Uh, and then I'm starting a new series. Do you use a computer for writing, or do you write it in your notepad first? I do use a computer. I compose directly on the computer. Uh, my handwriting is too slow to write that way, but I do write a lot of notes. So right next to my bed, I keep a notepad and I often get ideas in the middle of the night and I just can't get them out of my head. So I gotta turn on the light and write them on my notepad and then the next morning I work on them. The name Serafina sounds much like Seraphim. Are they connected? So seraphim are six-winged angels. Um, so there's a bit of a connection there, but not a direct connection, no. Have you had moments when you wished you quit, or did you manage to write successfully from the start? Uh, I did not write successfully from the start. I started when I was 11 years old. I thought I was gonna get published, you know, by the ripe old age of maybe 12 or 13. That didn't happen the way I wanted it to, but I just kept trying. So I wrote book after book after book, and I would give it to my, my mom and my brothers and my friends and my family and try to get as much feedback as I could, and I just kept trying to improve. And then I, I practiced and worked for many years before I eventually was published by Disney Hyperion. 
What is your favorite book? Do you read a lot? I do read a lot. I love uh, fantasy stories in particular. Uh, when I was younger, I would read uh, The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit and The Once and Future King by T.H. White and kind of medieval, traditional uh, hero stories like that. And then the, as I grew up more, I started reading Jane Austen and Hemingway and sort of the classics. So yes, I like reading of all different genres. I read children's books and adult books and all types of books. Who is your main critic? A professional editor or someone in your family? Well, my first and most important critics are the members of my family. So when I write a chapter, I give it to my daughters and to my wife, and they provide feedback on it, and that's how I improve. And that's, if you like my stories, it has a lot to do with their contribution to it. Would you like to see your books adapted for the screen? P.S. The book trailer is really cool. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, I would like that. We are working on some things. I can't tell you all the details of it at this point, but I hope to have some exciting news pretty soon. But we are, are actively working on some projects. And speaking of the trailer, so if you've watched the book trailers, well, if you haven't, you should. Um, and when you see them, you'll see Serafina there. And Serafina is actually played by Genevieve here when she was 12 years old. So she's sort of grown up now, but uh, she, <clears throat> she played the role of Serafina when she was 12 years old and then 13 and 14 for the follow-on uh, videos. Okay. Have your children ever told you, no dad, we do not like your books? Uh, yes, they have. So luckily they tell me that before they get published and then I can change them and revise them accordingly. So I'll give you an example. So I wrote this one book. Uh, it was actually uh, Serafina and the Twisted Staff. And there were a few chapters in there that I really wanted to make very scary because I thought, okay, the first book was kind of spooky. I want to make the second book really scary. And I read them to Genevieve here and she just said, no, dad, no. And I thought, you mean no, like, like what's wrong? What do you mean no? And she says, too scary. It's really scary. I'm like scary good? And she's like, no, scary bad. And so uh, that chapter, which was about giant centipedes that attacked Serafina and Brayden, that got eliminated from the book because it was just too frightening. So, uh, and now Elizabeth, who is nine, right? You're nine? Yes. Uh, she is starting to do the same thing. So she reads all my books and provide all my chapters, I should say, and provides feedback on what she likes and what she doesn't like. And that's how I improve as an author. Okay, next question. Do you have any habits slash rituals without which you can't imagine starting work on a book? Well, I do. The first thing I need to do is have an idea for the book. I kind of map it all out in my mind. And then I go in my office and I need quiet. So the main thing I need is it just needs to be very quiet. And uh, if there's a lot of external noise, then that's uh, disturbing to me. So I have to find a time or a place where it's quiet. And I have other rituals too. I do write, I start in the morning generally, and then I write all day. But if I don't start in the morning, I find that it's hard to start new at night. So I do have quite a few little rituals like that. Okay? Hi there from your biggest fan. I adore the series. I am an ardent admirer of your books. I would like to know if the book character of Serafina was inspired by a real person. It was indeed. Uh, so the character Serafina was inspired by Genevieve. So that's why she played Serafina in the book trailer. So Genevieve, when she was you know, 9, 10, 11, she used to like sneaking around the house, prowling around. She'd hide in closets and jump out at me. You know, who's that sound like, right? So she was kind of cat-like in her behavior. And so she was the original inspiration for Serafina. Okay. Are there many young adult books that you keep at home? Uh, yes, I keep all the books I read, and I, I read a lot of young adult books. So, yes, my shelves are filled with young adult and children's books and adult books, and I, lots of non-fiction non books as well. Okay. Why did you, as an American, pick a Polish name for your main character? 
So, uh, Serafina uh, is, uh, I think, a lovely name. My family and I came up with it. So, my wife is actually uh, half Polish, so her father is Polish. He was born in Poland and then came here. And so, we have a lot of uh, Polish in our family. And so, that was one reason, but also we just liked the name Serafina and we thought it went very well with what Serafina is. And I won't spoil it for anybody, but if you've read the series, you know what she is, and we thought it was a good name for such a thing. As you wait, did people know that you write books? Did they make jokes about, about the entrepreneur? The entrepreneur of the year. Entrepreneur of the year, writing books for children. Okay, yeah, so that question references the fact that I used to be the CEO and chief architect of an internet software company. So I used to have a corporate life where I go to work every day. I was a software programmer and a manager. And so I had all these people working for me uh, on my team, and, but they actually did know I was a writer and they would all read my books and provide me feedback, just like my family members. And I learned a lot from them and I really appreciate all the feedback that they provided me. So they were always extremely supportive of my work as a writer. Uh, and then when I uh, ended up leaving that company and going off and becoming a full-time writer, they weren't surprised. They, they pretty much knew that's what I wanted to do long-term in my life. Okay. Hi, thank you for the Serafina series. It is unbelievable. I love it so much. Please tell us how the idea of the series was born. Well, as we talked about, the idea for this series was born from this idea of having a, a young girl who likes to sneak around and prowl, prowl around. And we decided that it would be fun to set it at Biltmore State because we live right near Biltmore State and we go visit it a lot and we walk through it and we know it very well. And we were in the basement of Biltmore State one day and we thought, wow, this would be a neat place to set a spooky story. So that's how we came up with the idea. Sorry. What is the most difficult in being a professional writer? Well, for me, I love coming up with the stories, the characters, the plots, the conflicts, uh, which is difficult for some people, but for me, that's what I love, and I find it pretty easy. What I find extremely difficult is writing a sentence. And I know that sounds strange as a writer, but for me, writing the sentences and making them sound right is a, is a struggle for me. So it's very hard and sometimes it gets frustrating because I have the story in my head and I want to tell it, but my ability to write a sentence in the way I want it to is often in my way. I've run out of questions. Okay. So. She's done with her questions. Do you have any other questions on yours? Yes. Are there any rituals that you follow when you start writing the book? Uh, well, I do have rituals where I uh, sit down usually in the morning and I just have to have a, a clear mind and nothing else pressing on me, nothing else to do. And that's how I start a new book. Mm -hmm. I don't have any more. Okay. Well, thank you, Elizabeth. And thank you, Genevieve. This was awesome. And thank you, Ukraine, for the excellent questions. And thank you, America and the rest of the world. I hope you enjoyed hearing all the questions and the answers. So this is Robert Beattie and Genevieve and Elizabeth signing off. Bye-bye.